Hey people, Intro here, 3v3 Faction War. This is Angstrom Heights and Chaos versus Space Marines for the Blue Chaos team. Mycroft is a Plague Champion, starts off in ranged combat. With a damage of a time, Bolt Gun can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's pretty slow. Alongside, the Tenso is rocking a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights in melee combat. Rounding off this team is this player, We'll call them the Chaos Sorcerer because they're playing one with the Black Legion here. Powerful offense hero with control and battlefield manipulation. It's found a tech marine over there. And it's the Fritz. We also have Legionator. These guys start off in ranged combat, can get a melee weapon and have great support with structures. Can also re repair. We've got Ultramarines here and uh, whatever this fella is. Alongside and rounding off the team is General Problem with an Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura space marines taking the mid back bunch of heretics dying oh only one heretic dying two maybe it's a miracle you got Chaos Space Marines trying to get into some heavy cover here I don't think they all are in it though this fella is certainly not so they might die pretty fast here comes some more heretics that's oh, the same squad, getting a good Doom Blast in, suppressing all that stuff. Tactical Marines meanwhile capping. We have Tactical Marines all around, double CSM for Mycroft. Gonna try and grab the contested power up there. Meanwhile in the southwest, we have these two natural powers. Sees a lot of action. Got Scout Squad with uh, shotguns, being chased by CSM. Tech Marine was off the field. These guys, I don't think they want to be in this melee fight with a Tech Marine shooting at them. Heretics coming in to maybe support. Oh, they get away without a model loss. It was well judged by the Chaos Sorcerer player. Meanwhile, early power push by the Space Marines doubling up here against the Tenso. Mycroft needs to support, and they are, with some grenade launcher heretics and some good old bolt fire. Tactical Marine trying to get a cap here with Flamer up. Looks like they're not going to be able to. Got a decap though. Out. Shotguns need to be focused down. There we go. Last goes in. Only knocked over the uh, CSM and they do get them down. Our scouts are so fragile early on. Especially having to get close for shotguns and stuff. Noise Marines up here now for Tenso. And Havocs for the Sorcerer. Who barely gets away. Nope, doesn't get away. Was that a high powered shot? I think it was a high powered shot that finished him off. Since that kind of he was suppressed, but you can just throw out an ability without it mattering. Suppression only affects your firing cycle for your weapon, increasing the cooldown of the weapon. They're gonna try and cap, are they, fellas? They are. Got heretics in support and some CSM. Legionator replacing those scouts and getting shotguns again. Noise Marines, meanwhile, going for some power, I think. There's their sonic blaster. Shutting down a ranged weapon only off that lead model though as you as you saw there Will only affect the actual models that it shoots and hits Getting caught by a shotgun blast into some kraken bolts Here's some heretics with an aspiring champion getting in on tactical marines But there's a lot of stuff here Whole lot of stuff here and generals around to heal them too 397 to 475 Mycroft very preoccupied with this power gen Power node I should say Oh, it's being noded again. They can't even grab it. They can't even grab it. Raptors up now for Mycroft. Those guys, I think, set to get a slight cost increase. Which is going to suck for me because I like the Raptors. Might see a nasty grenade here on the Heretics. Nope. I don't think they actually have the energy to throw the grenade. I think it's 60. Here comes Eternal War for the CSM. Mycroft being doubled, needs some support from the Tensor, and there it is, the Chaos Lord getting in momentarily. Raptors now from Mycroft can get a jump, but they're going to be alone, are they? Nope, CSM's still here. Let's see what they can do, they're going for the Tech Marine. Going to eat a shotgun blast though, and that's triple tactical marine shooting at you, there's a lot of damage, and the Tech Marine of course. And now some melee attacks on retreat. Are they really not going to drop a model? Wow. Dark gods favor those guys. Meanwhile, the Sorcerer doing a great job at bottom, getting a bash with Noise Marines. 
and supported by Havocs and stuff. We have double noise marines now for the ten, so you can do some awesome stuff with double noise marines. They put out so much damage in tier one. Plague champion with a plague sword and fetid armor. Typically, you'd use double noise marines though against a light infantry army because they tend to have lower health models, so AOE abilities are way more effective as Sonic Blast are going to really melt down like shooters and stuff like that. But they're going to get a very quick power bash here. Or are they? Can this guy full auto? I don't think they can. Don't have the energy for it. There they go. Sonic Blast is just shaking the generators apart. It's going to be a full bash. But I don't think they're going to get a decap. There's a shotgun blast but it only hits one of them. There's a jump. Oh, it comes in time to stop the full bash. Might need to repair this generator, lads. They do have double tech marines and scouts. Tier 2 now for Legionator, the first player to go. Now, are the space marines going to be able to get right back on to this enemy power after that bash? They have things in place to defend, I think. Tenso has some stuff. Here comes that plague champion again. Are they using the same scheme? I think they are. Very similar. Some Zinchian worship while they're surrounded the Chaos Sorcerer here. Heretics being shot up. Assault Marines there ready to jump. The uh, Havocs. These are Fritz. Looks like they're just backing away anyway. Space Marines still have to meet us a triple cap here. 285 to 463. Shall we build? They're talking about generators, I think. Yeah, must be talking about generators. Flame attack, trying to get on the power there momentarily. There's the full auto on the lead model. So no Sonic Blaster ranged shutdown there. There we go. Do your Sonic Blasting. Sorcerer went down. 256 to 463. Lots of pressure from the Space Marines. There's a Gophony. Oh, the other Noise Marine's going to get away. I think they barely get away. There we go. Tenso being shut down. Just by sheer ranged fire. 245 to 463. Plague Champion again gets on that power. And now really needs to support the team. Already going to push forward and cap stuff. Looks like they are going to come and fight. Here we go. Oh, there's a marked target on the CSM from Signal Mama. Jump gets rid of them. Now they need to move quick. I know you can't move especially quick with a Plague Champions Chaos Army, but they need to get on the power or get on the VP or both or something. Sneaky Scouts. It's noted though. It's going to take them a while to bash it. Plague Champion can cap this while these guys move forward, I think. Nope. You don't want to turn everything around for the Scouts. Just some CSM could deal with them. Here's a grenade. Unlucky not to just wipe them out, but they might be able to get it done with shotguns. There we go. Wow, looks like they got shot in half there. Not sure what happened to their model. Looks like it's the Plague Champion has been chosen to try and deal with the scouts, but they are infiltrating now. These guys are capping. Maybe should have gotten the power, but uh, would have been at risk of the red team coming out in that time. That was a pretty damn good Blastmaster shot. Holy crap. I think it was a double Blastmaster shot. Really rough against Fritz. The assault squad barely gets away. Now getting their sergeant going. And we have the Blood Maul for the Chaos Lord alongside the Mantle of Hate suit. Are they looking for these scouts? They are gone, fellas. They're decapping your VP. Double Marco Zint CSM on the way. Massive amounts of damage potential against the Marines. 215 to 447. A Doom Blast in on the scouts. Those guys are going to get a cap, I think. And they do get their natural back there. 212 to 447. One to one cap. Double plasma cannons coming in. It's a setup team artillery fight. Oh, misfire there. Good hit on the apothecaries. Heretics being shot to death. More power bashing in the northeast. This time a melter gun tech marine getting in on the action. Some uh, sweet power node XP. Oh, misfire. Comes a Chaos Lord, though. Gets in with a kill the weak. I thought that was going to be a big old sweeping doom. 
There it is. That's got some serious knockback strength. Stops them capping, as you saw there. They are going to get back in on it. Is that a dreadnought? I hear it is. The familiar thud of an auto cannon dreadnought. Power bashing doing a decent job as well. 195 to 447. Some flanking from the Chaos Sorcerer alongside Heretics. Doom bolts. Wow. If you're not in cover, Doom bolts continues to wreck your face even in tier 2. It's like the opposite of the Destructor. I think the Destructor ignores cover. And Doom bolts do a pretty good job against it. Sorry, cover does a pretty good job against Doom bolts. I mean. I was just distracted by my television randomly turning on. There's a mind of its own. It's possessed by chaos. Double plasma devs are still alive. These guys down to one model though. And some regular devs coming out. For a las cannon maybe. We've got no melter bomb. We do have a melter gun. Oh, double melter gun tech marines. And one of them has signum of course. For the marked target. There's that sweeping doom. Can the Blastmaster get a good shot here? A decent shot on the two tech marines. Dreadnought is still in play. Another really good shot kills that guy. These Blastmaster noise marines causing all sorts of trouble. There's that last cannon now trying to get shots on the Dreadnought. We have some Chaos Space Marines in on the tacks and eating a friendly fire shot. But they did kill a bunch of tactical marines now trying to get in on the plasma devs. And they do so. They do so. Last cannon is still around. Dreadnought's well out of range though. And more CSM getting in. They're using their slaughter, I think. Drawing their melee weapons. Are they? No, nope, they still have their guns out. Just the aspiring champion with the melee weapon there. Scout squad capping the wreck. 171406. Lots of VPs to make up this Chaos team. But they're starting to have a growing influence on this game, aren't they? couple of good fights with those noise marines doing work against Fritz has left them a little bit depleted and Chaos team are taking advantage of Mycroft getting on that VP and bashing power there. Can they even take the VP back? Mycroft is backing away giving some cover from these line of sight blockers and that kind of thing. Really well timed kill the weak on some infiltrated scouts there by the Tenso. Whirlwind is getting so far forward Trying to disrupt those noise marines, of course. Doom bolts flying in. Double plasma attacks. Eating a blast master shot, though. Getting close enough to these guys. They might be shot down. Grenade goes in. Retreat. Oh, looks like they got away. Looks like they did get away. Don't think the Curse Lord is going to get away. But served as a good distraction. Last cannon shot him in the back. Raptors now coming from Mycroft in there. Been disrupted by the whirlwind. Dreadnought is infiltrated. The whirlwinds, of course, do have that hunter killer missile. It's probably already been used on the dreadnought. Uh oh. Suddenly, Chaos Terminators, though, and they take down the whirlwind with their power fists and just sheer mean face. Scouts now grabbing the northeastern power. Triple cap for Chaos. They've really come back into this. Yeah, the red team have struggled to deal with the double noise marines set up down here. Tried to get it done with a whirlwind, but it's now been dealt with. Surprised Gemeral didn't just get assault marines up or something. If you jump in two of them, you should be able to disperse the noise marines, I think. So double cap now for Chaos. Space marines are getting their natural VP back. Got some Mark of Corn Chaos Space Marines for the Tenso. Level 3 Tech Marine here. What about you? You're level 2. With Orbs of the Omnissiah. Might be able to get onto the Chaos Dreadnought, which has slowly been repaired up a little bit. As Blastmaster hits, doing work. Can they get a nuke? Nope. Legionate is the only, the only tier 3 player for the red team, and they don't have nearly enough red. Scout's getting a power bash. Look at this. A heavy bolt of turret going up to defend the VP. They got the node, those fellas. Well done. Might be able to get a decap over there. 
Submarine's jumping in. Did not actually attack when they jumped in, though. Bit of a delay there on the jump, I think. Uh oh. Jumping into all sorts of trouble. Aspiring champion heretics and bloodlet has been spawned from the shrine. Decent position here for Legionator. Tearing through some havocs, but one model does get away. Now mark target on a dreadnought, but there's nothing there to take advantage. I don't think the tech marines can be able to on it. Uh oh, friendly fire from the noise marines. Only the aspiring champion gets away from those guys. 126 to 224. Double cap now for the space marines. They get back on the mid. Raptors aren't pleased. We have a Chaos Predator tank for Mycroft. Going mid, maybe. Oh, is he getting Markov's inch? Yep, getting Markov's inch. Another Chaos Predator this time for the Chaos Sorcerer player. Tenso. Plenty of power, just waiting to get some requisition to be able to afford a tank or something. Good infiltration there for the Dreadnought, allows it to get away from the last cannon. Can't target something you can't see. And no Melter Bomb went in, maybe it already went in from those guys. Stone God Veterans trying to take it down with their Vengeance Rounds. Being tied up, but they are in turn trying to melee a Dreadnought to death. One hit point, it gets away, it survives. It hasn't got away yet. Are the Stone Guard going to go away? No, nope. Stone Guard go down. Stone Guard are down. Blood Crusher on the way for Mycroft. Red team are reeling. What is this now? Scout still on that power. Mycroft back on the VP though with a tank. And a bunch of other mean chaos stuff. Dreadnought seriously needs repairs. Nothing is needed more repairs than this right now. At one hit point. Heretics of the Tenso not interested. Down goes the shrine. There's some corn worship. Are you guys going to fight? Nope. Going to take big old plasma cannon shots. Double cap now for chaos. Here's that late blood crusher. Just putting it on the VP maybe? What is this? Those guys are just waiting around to grenade someone who tries to get the uh, power back, I think. Trying to get the power of those tactical marines being shot up. They have the mid though, the space marines, they do have the mid. And this is probably terminators. No! Oh. Is that a venerable? No, it's just tactical marines teasing me. Heretics, barely get out of there. Did the dreadnought get taken out? The dreadnought got found and taken out. 103 to 143. Chaos Terminators have an upgrade? Yep, they have the Reaper Auto Cannon. Not able to get on the mid though. We do have a Mark of Nurgle Dreadnought. Sorry, Predator for the Chaos Sorcerer. I'd love to see a Mark of Nurgle Dreadnought. Noise Marines continue to wreck Space Marines down there. Uh oh. Plague Champions found some Loyalist Terminators, which is a bad day for the Plague Champion. With only Fetid and uh, the Sword at level 2, he's not going to stand up against Terminators for very long. Here's the rest of Mycroft's stuff, though. Meanwhile, though, capping is general problem. Here come Terminators towards the VP. Do they want to fight the Blood Crusher? They ordinarily would, but I think they know there's a bunch of more stuff here. Uh oh, scouts have been found. And none of those guys forced melee. They might get away here. Oh, maybe not. Down they go. The sheer weight of firepower is enough. Meanwhile, mid. Heretics tap in. Plasma Cannon. Love shooting heretics. Look at that shot. Plasma Cannon actually overshot there because it's on higher ground. But those guys moved back right into it. 93 to 116. Chaos Terminator is backing away. Get some good shots in. Melter bomb. And now a melter gun tech marine trying to follow this tank and take it out. Doing a good job. Mark of Corn CSM are going to die. Level 4 as well. They're alive. They're still alive. Down goes the tank. And they are able to get their aspiring champion back up and live for now. It's a decent nuke. Uh oh. Made the mistake of retreating through it. That was so painful. Are those guys going to get away? No, they're not. There was another nuke just in case they did. 
Legionator just had just had a rough time. That's a rough time. What they needed to do, of course, when they saw the nuke pop, was actually move forward into enemy units and then try to get around this way. But um, yeah, it's understandable. You see a nuke, you hit retreat. In that case, it was bad. Level four and level three noise marines are great unclean one on the way for the tenso. Chaos Sorcerer had a bad engagement. Still has these Terminators somehow. Two models on not even 500 hit points. It's pretty good. Level 5 Sorcerer with Tome of Subjugation. These guys somehow lived. That's amazing. That is amazing. Or was it was it the Sorcerer's Mark of Corn CSM fellas that I saw so low? Maybe it was. Maybe it was these guys. And they actually did die, maybe? If only I knew things. Here's a great unclean one. Triple cap for chaos. Well done, Mycroft at the end here. Was a bit slow getting on this VP in like tier 2 and stuff, but once tier 3 ro rolled around, they have uh, got on this pretty well. Down goes that tank, was way too far forward there. And I think they can see this out with a triple cap. Those noise marines from the Tenso. MVPs, they've done so much work for their team. Basically prevented the Space Marines from establishing in the mid. Orbs are on the side, draining, it, draining energy from Chaos Space Marines. Do these guys even use energy? Do they use it for their slaughter? I don't think they do. And since they have Markov Zinx, they don't even have slaughter. There's a triple and there's the game for Chaos. It was a good start for Space Marines too, but uh, the growing influence of these Noise Marines, as soon as they got the Blastmaster, they just instantly take started wrecking models apart and uh, they never really dealt with them surprised we didn't see another assault marine squad from general did have a land raider right at the end couldn't get into the fight though look at these heroes level two play champion level five chaos lord demonic visage and that mantle of hate level five sorcerer level five tech marine did they both have signum they did and a level four apothecary there you have it, it was an awesome faction war not the longest game but frantic fighting all the way through. Thank you for watching guys and big thanks to these players for fighting it out for us and Impregnable of course for organizing this stuff and sending them in. I'll see you next time.